In this class, we will complete our discussion of hypothesis testing by focusing on the errors we can make when we make decisions about the null hypothesis. This grid should help clarify the meaning of type 1 and type 2 errors. Type 1 error is symbolized by alpha, which is the probability of making a type 1 error. Thus, the decision to set alpha at 0.05 as the threshold to define the critical value and to reject the null hypothesis is related to what level of risk we are willing to take in making a type 1 error. It is certainly possible we could decide that alpha equal to 0.05 is too conservative and we could then set it at 0.10. Or we could decide that it is too liberal and we could set it at 0.01. However, the accepted threshold for alpha in our field is 0.05. It is important to realize that alpha is set at the outset of the experiment, which means that beta and 1 minus beta are free to vary. Type 2 error is symbolized by beta, which is the probability of making a type 2 error. When we accept the null, and that was the correct decision, we refer to this as the confidence of a test. The confidence of a test is symbolized by 1 minus alpha, which is the probability of correctly retaining the null hypothesis. Later, we'll be talking about confidence intervals. When we reject the null, and that was the correct decision, we refer to this as the power of a test. This is symbolized by 1 minus beta, which is the probability of correctly rejecting the null hypothesis. An important fact is that there is a complementary relationship between type 1 error and type 2 error. If we raise alpha to 0 0.10, then the beta, or the risk of type 2 error, goes down. And the probability of a, uh, or the power of a test, I'm sorry, 1 minus beta goes up. Similarly, if we try to prevent type 1 error by lowering alpha to 0 0.10, then beta and the risk of type 2 error go up and the power of a test goes down. 
Thus, we reduce our risk of making a type 1 error only by increasing our risk of making a type 2 error. Because alpha is set at the outset of a study, beta and, the power, are, and power are free to vary in a study. Um, as a result, there is much written about how to improve or affect power. While alpha is equal to 0.05, we are usually lucky if we can reach the desired threshold of power, which is usually 0.80 in our field. So even in some of our best experiments, our risk of making a type 1 error is less than 5 in 100. But our risk of making a type 2 error is uh, 20 in 100, or sometimes much higher than that. Because it is so important, let's talk briefly about some of the chief determinants of the power of a test. First, the larger the sample size, the greater the power of a test. Second, as alpha decreases, power decreases. And third, as error is uncontrolled and increases, power decreases.